morning everyone. I am so excited today. I take off and go on this woman's experience that I've been talking about. Um, this experience is called The Queen Eats First. How fitting, right? So I, I decided to take this experience or go on this experience because I'm always looking to improve myself. I'm always working on myself and I think that's one of the best things that we can do is continue to expand and grow and become the best versions of ourselves, right? So Dustin had taken, about a month ago, he went on a men's experience and he got some really good work from it. So I thought, why not do something for myself? Why not go on one as well? And so we, we looked around, we found um, this lady in St. George who puts on a woman's experience. And so I reached out, did the whole consult and everything and decided to sign up for me. So over the last month, I've been doing a little prep work to get ready for this experience. I know that there's, from the sounds of it, gonna be a lot of physical, but also a lot of mental and digging deep within myself to work on the things that I need to improve, things that can make me a better businesswoman, make me a better wife, make me a better person to myself and to all of the other people around me. So I'm really looking forward to this experience. I, I'm a little anxious um, just because I don't know what to expect really, um, but I know that it's going to be good and I know that as long as I share my truth and I am willing to accept what comes to me and do the work that is going to be a really amazing experience. So I'm spending a little bit of time this morning getting things packed up and prepared. We were given a sheet to go over, basically um, a printout that tells us everything that we need to bring with us so that we have everything we need to be the most successful. So I have all of my clothes packed up and my yoga mat, foam roller, and just a few extra things, just so that way I can be the best prepared that I can be. Um, I would say one of the hardest things about this trip so far, as far as packing, is having everything for my health. Um, as I had mentioned previously, I am working on my gut health, and so I am taking a bunch of different supplements which is very overwhelming when it comes to travel. So thank you to my doctor who has uh, recommended these little glass vials that are droppers. So I kind of labeled everything and put the different supplements in those. Should help be a little bit less messy and a little bit more, uh, put me a little more at ease as far as having to travel with all of these things. So I have everything kind of prepared and ready to go for the most part. The last thing I have to do is worry about food, um, but that shouldn't take much. So I'm about to leave in an hour and a half to hit the road, and I am, I am super excited for this. So I cannot wait to see what comes out of this journey. I am on the road, gas is full in the tank, and I have about a four hour drive to get to St. George. So this is probably the first time I've ever drove by myself um, since like 2018 when Dustin and I were traveling all over. So this is uh, quite the new experience for me to adjust to again, but it's going to be great uh, to spend some time to myself and just kind of get myself mentally prepared for this weekend. So. On the road I go, and uh, yeah, this should be interesting. It has been two hours on the road. Pretty freaking boring, actually. I forgot how boring it is to drive by yourself, to travel by yourself. Um, at least the scenery is beautiful. I've got mountains kind of over to the side, and some fields over to the other side. So. Anyway, keep myself occupied. I am listening to some. So I made it safe and sound. Um, it wasn't too bad of a drive. 
but I'm here and this is where I'm going to sign off for now. I'm not going to record any of it. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm probably allowed to anyway. So next time I see you, I will be a changed woman. So see you in a couple days. I believe. 
believe in my message and I believe in my truth and I believe in my abilities, I know that I'll succeed. And so that was the biggest takeaway for me. And I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Um, I feel lighter. I'm a little beat up. <laughs> I'm a little sore. But it was such a wonderful experience. And I encourage you, if you are ever searching to look further into yourself, to who you are, to look for some way of overcoming these hurdles that are keeping you from your full potential, to give this a shot. You're a woman. Check out the Queen Needs First. It is a beautiful program. Um, and if you're a man, I know that there's other experiences out there. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to message me or Dustin. We've both been through one. I promise you, it'll change your life. With that, I'm gonna do a little bit more thinking to decompress from the weekend and um, we got about a two and a half hour drive left so I'm excited to see Dustin I'm excited to see Journey and um, yeah what a weekend guys okay so I just got home <laughs> it's been a long drive um, I see that Dustin got DoorDash for me <laughs> so I got it on the way in how funny is that Anyway, I'm about to walk through the door and let's see how surprised him and little Miss Journey are to see me. Who is that? Journey bug! Ah. <laughs> Baby! Ah. Hey, sit, 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 sit. Babies, babies. Hi, 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 hello. Hi, hi, oh my goodness, hi, hello. Hi, hi. All right, that went a little crazy. So I guess you could say Journey was very, very excited to see me. It took me probably 10 minutes to calm her down. So it makes my heart feel really full to see how much she missed me, because um, she's my baby, so. What about you, love? Are you excited to see me? Yay! <laughs> Check out his sweet pants. Aren't those dope? Yay! Stacks. Boom. Cool. All right, we are going to eat. I am going to wind down. Thank you for following along on this beautiful journey of mine. And again, like I said earlier, if this is something that you are interested in, feel free to hit Dustin or I up. Um, ask us questions. Like I said, we've both now been on an experience. We can kind of give you some insight um, if that's something that you're looking to do. But I, I encourage it for everyone if you're looking to improve or to better yourself in any kind of way. So with that, Thanks guys, and I will catch you on the next one.